gambling isn't your thing, how about dodgeball? The second annual Dodgeball Tournament Challenge presented by the Boy Scouts, sponsored by Cassidy Turley, is this Saturday, May 19th on Fountain Square. The goal is to raise money to send 400 inner city and underprivileged children to camp this summer. With more on this event, Business Courier publisher Jamie Smith is joined by Mike Sippel and Steve Wygand. Jamie? Thanks, guys, for being here today. Thank Mike, you. you're Vice President with Centennial Inc. here in town. Steve, you're an attorney with Faruqi Ireland Cox. But you're joined together through the Professional Leadership Network, is that correct? That's, that's correct. correct. And that's who's putting on this dodgeball tournament. Correct. Mike, tell me a little bit about PLN. Sure. The Professional Leadership Network is a uh, young professionals organization for emerging leaders in this market that want to be actively involved in the community and actively involved in mentorship and development opportunities for uh, partner with the Dan Beard Boy Scouts okay. in their board program. So it's a, a vast, a lot of different variety of, of people like Yeah, yourself. there's approximately 80 members currently um, that, again, are very very actively involved and want to get engaged in helping uh, develop youth and help the community be a better place. Okay. Dodgeball, tell me a little bit about how this term is going to work. Sure. Well, we're certainly very excited for the event this coming Saturday. Um, the event's going to include 36 teams who will be competing right in the heart of Fountain Square on three separate courts. And uh, they'll be c competing, of course, for the, the trophy of the winner of the tournament. But um, the neat thing about the tournament is that we have 35 different companies in the Cincinnati area who are participating in some fashion in the tournament. Uh, many of these companies are sending their employees out to compete as a team. So it's a pretty unique event. And as you might imagine, it's going to include a lot of dodgeball action, but we'll have music, food, uh, beverages. An entire festival kind of it, format. Down. Yeah, it, it'll certainly have a festival type feel to it. Framester is going to have a photo booth on the square. Um, we'll have a speed pitch machine. So it should be a lot of fun. Okay, and this is next Saturday, right? The 19th? Yes, this is Saturday okay. the 19th. Okay, and what we'll go on all day? Is it? How, how long is the, the, the competition going on? The event starts at noon, and we expect that it'll last until about 6.30 p.m. in the evening by the time we get through the entire tournament. Okay, are you both playing? We are. Or I am. <laughs> I'm planning to play. Yeah, I can't wait for that. see it. Tell me a little bit about the proceeds. What are we going to do with that? I know we're sending some kids to camp. Sure. So 100% of the proceeds go directly to Challenge Camp, which okay. is an initiative to serve underprivileged youth in the greater Cincinnati region. Um, so all proceeds will go to help those kids experience a week-long camp okay. called Challenge Camp within Dan Beard with uh, all Boy, Scouts. The Boy Scouts. It's a great organization and it sounds like PLN is another great organization underneath there. So I, I wish you luck. I'm hoping to be down there to watch you guys play. Great. Thanks right. a lot so for being Jay. here today. Thank you.